Hello everyone. Today's topic is development of amphioxus up to the formation of siloam. Amphioxus is marine cephalochordate. It is microscopic and its zoological name is Branchiostoma lanceolatum. Egg of amphioxus is microlacethal or oligolacethal and pattern of cleavage is holoblastic. The first cleavage is meridonial and passes from animal pole to vegetal pole. As a result, four blastomeres are formed. The second cleavage is also meridonial and four blastomeres are formed. This is animal pole and this is vegetal pole. The first cleavage occurs from animal pole to vegetal pole. As a result, two blastomeres are formed. The second cleavage is at right angle to the first cleavage. One thing to notice over here is that this is a spindle fiber and this is metaphysic plate. So cleavage occurs at metaphysic plate. In this diagram also cleavage occurs at metaphysic plate. The third cleavage is equatorial and lies between poles just above the equator. As a result, eight blastomeres are formed. This is equatorial position and cleavage occurs like this. Again, this is a spindle, this is a spindle and this is metaphysic plate. So, cleavage again occurs in metaphysic plate as in previous two cleavages. Subsequent divisions are less synchronized with each other. After five cleavage, blastula is formed. Blastula is 32 cell structure. Blastocele is inside the blastula. This is animal half and these light blue are blastomeres of animal half. These stripped blastomeres are blastomeres of vegetal half. The cleavage occurs vertically and as a result, eight blastomeres are formed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. The next cleavage is equatorial and as a result, 16 blastomeres are formed. The next cleavage is in the blastomeres of vegetal half and it is again vertical. As a result, 8 cells are formed. Again, the division is equatorial and 16 blastomeres are formed. So, there are 16 blastomeres at the vegetal end and 16 blastomeres at the animal half. So, the total 32 blastomeres are present which form blastula. Gastrulation occurs by the process of invagination of vegetal wall of blastula. Invagination is the process of in pocketing of a sheet of cells. As a result, double layered archenteron is formed. Blastopore is the opening of archenteron. The outer cell of archenteron is called ectoderm. The inner cell of archenteron is called endoderm and cells at the apex near the blastopore are called mesoderms. 
This is the cross section of blastula. This is blastocele, and these are the cells. These light blue are the cells of animal half, and these yellow cells are cells or blastomeres at vegetal half. Invagination occurs at vegetal pole, and as a result. Archenteron is formed. This is archenteron, and this is an invagination. One thing to notice over here is that there are few yellow cells, but there are more number of yellow cells. This is because of continuous cell division and inward group. These light pitch cells are mesoderm. and this opening is blastopore this is the whole of gastrula and if we cut the gastrula like this then this half will resemble this picture cilium is a body cavity lined by mesoderm and it occurs during neurulation delineation of the mesoderm occurs during neurulation a series of paired out pocket things form and pinch off from the mesoderm these cavities merge to become the cilium this yellow light pink area is mesoderm here the pocket formation starts and if it pinches from this patch of mesoderm then this cilium is formed cilium is the white area surrounded by yellow area yellow sorry surrounded by pink cells so that's all for today thank you